hello and welcome to this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to add social share option on your blog post social share option help you indulge your blog visitors to help you share your blog post across several social media platforms this is one of the most potent ways to improve your blog traffic in this tutorial i will show you how to add social share buttons to your blog post just like you've seen on your screen using a free plugin. You can add as many social media options as possible without paying a dime for it. If you're ready for this, let's get right in. Now, in order to add social share options to our blog post on our WordPress website, we are going to be going through two different steps. Step one is to install a free social share plugin to our WordPress website and the second step is to configure the settings of our plugin in order to customize it and make it appear exactly the way we want it to be so let's get over to the step one to install a free social share plugin all right I am in my admin dashboard right now and for me to install this free social share plugin all I need to do is to come to the plugin section as you seen here I click on add new all right once I get to this point I come to the search bar option here and I'm going to be typing in the name of my plugin which is the sassy so she share so I'm going to type in sassy so she share all right so the sassy social share plugin is the first option that pops out here and as you can see here we have over 100,000 active installations and a 4.5 you know um, star rating so this tells you that this is a trustworthy um, plugin so I'm going to be clicking on the install now and wait for it to install All right once it is installed I'm going to click on the activate button and wait for it to activate all right, so now the social share plugin has been activated. If you come to your social share, uh, to your plugin repository, you will see the social share plugin already activated on your WordPress dashboard. So all you need to do is to come under the settings option. You're going to see the social share option here. You click on it. All right, and that is going to take us to the second step, which is to configure the settings of this plugin. So I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so when I get to this dashboard of my social share plugin, uh, we're going to be configuring the most basic options while we're going to be leaving the rest as it is. So one thing you can do is that at a later time you can come around and just play around with some of these options so that you see how they work out. But for this um, video, I'm going to be touching only the options that are very important. Okay, so let's come to the team selection here. All right, let's start here now. It's talking about shape. Now you can see what we have here. We have three different shape options. Now, if you want your social share button to appear in a rounded shape you're going to leave it on the default round you can also make it square and rectangle let's give an example of what we are trying to see now as you can see you can see that the buttons here are, in, are rounded in shape so i prefer the round shape if you like you can make yours to be square and you can make it to be rectangular okay so i'm going to be leaving that here now for size i'm going to be leaving it at the default settings now as for logo color you can leave empty for default but if you want to configure the color maybe to rhyme with your website brand then you can use the x code you know to add to uh, to hard colors okay now usually i use colors.co to pick my colors now you can check out the tool i will leave a link to it in the description box below but for this tutorial i'm going to be leaving it at the default settings which 
we also look good all right so from there we go to background color the same thing if you want to also configure the background color um, of your social share options maybe to customize it to rhyme with your WordPress uh, website colors you can also do exactly what I said for the logo color all right now for the border you're gonna do the same thing for the border okay so uh, that also talk about the color now let's come to counter position now if you enable the counter then the number of people who share your post will show all right so it can uh, and, and if you want the number to be displayed on the left or the top or the right or the bottom you know just as you're seeing it here um, you can always pick yours but for me i don't really want my counter position to show because um, I, I i could be having a new website and i don't want people to you know i want to hide the, num the, the number of persons that has shared my, my 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 post so i'm going to be leaving it empty all right so let's scroll down okay now everything that we have done up in the upper section here can also be related to what we have in this lower section but this place is talking about the floating interface thing okay so now what do we mean by floating interface when you come to this place if you enable your floating interface we discover that when you're scrolling up you can see that this remains um you know static on this point okay so that shows that the floating interface has been configured for this post or for this website that's what we mean by floating interface okay so if you go through the settings here you will discover that it's just exactly the same as we have um in the hopper section so i'm going to be leaving them just exactly as it is there all right once i do that i'm going to just click on save changes okay so um once i'm done with that i'm going to come to standard interface and click on standard interface all right so while we are here now you can see what we have here it said enable standard sharing interface i'm going to leave it at default which is already marked okay um for target url i'm going to leave it exactly as it is also now when i come to title or uh, what are they trying to ask me is that what title do i want to display on top of my social share let me give you another example here now you can see here that the title i have here is please share okay so if you have your own special title you can always you know put it here so the default title that comes with the plugin is spread the love i mean you can decide to say please share like i have in the other website all right so you can impute any title that you feel it's best for you and then um, you can once you do that you can scroll down all right so what we have here is that now let's go back to this place you can see that we have facebook we have instagram we have pinterest you know and some other ones now if you want to add um buttons like facebook share like facebook like recommend tweet and share all of this you can always tick it okay once you tick it you can see that it has been added Okay, you can see that it has been added. You can see that it has been added. Okay, so if you like, you can add that. But for me, I'm going to be removing them and leaving it the way it is. Okay, so that is what we have here. If you scroll down, also you see search social media, uh, search social network. All right, this tell tell you how many social media icon you want to display, you know, on your social share. Okay, so for me, I picked um sorry the default settings comes uh, with facebook with linkedin with pinterest now if there are other ones you want to add you can always add them here you can see whatsapp is added you can see reddit is added twitter is added so you can also remove uh, reddit for instance once i untick it you will see that reddit has been removed from this point if i also untick twitter you can see that twitter has been removed okay so for me i'm going to leave it at that so you can just scroll down if there are more social media icons you want displayed you know on your social share you can always stick it at this point all right so that is that all right at this point we have horizontal alignment this is asking you where you want it to be displayed now if you check this place, you can see that it's displayed the horizontal alignment is displayed on the left side of my blog post so that is what we have here 
uh, as default. If you want it at the center, you can always take this. And if you want it at the right, you can always do this. So I'm going to be leaving mine at the left side. Now here it's saying position with respect to content. Now here it's saying I want it to be on top of the content. Just as we have here, you can see mine on top of the content. If you want yours to be at the bottom of the content, you can always tick the bottom of the content. All right, so let's go over now here. They're talking about placement. Now, where do you want your social share to be placed? For um, the default setting says for posts and pages, but for me, I want my social share uh, options to, to only be displayed on my post okay so i'm going to be on taking the pages okay so if you want yours to also be on pages if you want it to be on this tab on categories on the archive pages on attachments you can always tick them for for me i only want them to be on the post okay so i'm going to be taking that and it's going to be appearing just on the post now you're saying show search share count like i said before all right when we're talking about uh we are talking about team selection i already told you that sometimes on the top of your social share it can tell you how many times this post has been shared okay in, on, on facebook in in uh, linkedin on pinterest and the rest of them but for me i usually don't like to show them until probably i've had um enough um social share but for, so for me all i would do is i'm not going to take this so I'm going to take it, showing that um, people will not know the number of persons that has shared my post. But if you want people to know the number of persons that has shared your post across each of the social media, you can always take this, okay? But for me, I'm going to take them. All right, here it's saying show total share, okay? I'm going to be unticking this also. Enable more icon. If you want more, okay? If you want more like we have here, you can always take tick it. All right, but for me, but for me, I'm going to be leaving it unticked. All right, so once I'm done with that, I'm, I'm also going to do the save changes. All right, so that is for the standard interface. The next place I'm going to be going is the floating interface. I already explained to you what the floating interface uh, mean the other time so let's click on floating interface now if you don't want floating interface on your social share that means that if you scroll up this we also scroll up as as well and if you're on mobile for instance let's check our mobile settings and see what it's going to look like now you can see on mobile you can see that it's floating okay so if you disable the floating option once you scroll up it's going to scroll along with it and it's not going to stay as you have it static here all right so i want All right, I want the floating interface to, you know, to be active, okay? So I'm going to click, I'm going to leave it at the default setting, which is clicked, okay? I'm going to leave this the way it is, let's see. Um, okay, we have already explained this. If you want more of these options on your floating interface, you can always tick it, but for me, I will leave it both for the floating and the non-floating interface, all right? The same thing here, you're going to take the number of, um, social media icon that you want displayed on your social share all right okay the same thing with background color horizontal alignment we already talked about that okay so what this place is for is that sometimes let's go back and check here sometimes um some of uh, your floating interface can come a little bit you know to the upper side which you may not want you may want to push it a little bit down so that is what these options are for just to adjust how they are displayed on the screen. All right, so for placements, if you want it on home page, I don't want it on home page, you want it on pages, no, I only want it on posts. So I'm gonna be ticking only for the post. Enable more icon, I don't want that. So I'm gonna be unticking it. Vertical floating bar responsiveness, yes, you want to do this so that if, uh, irrespective of the, of your screen, either, uh, mobile screen or desktop screen it will be responsive so you're going to leave that ticked horizontal floating by responsiveness okay i'm going to leave that both for vertical and for horizontal 
right so i'm going to be leaving this like this and i'm going to be saving my changes also okay i think basically those are the major things you know okay let's just see what we have in miscellaneous um use plain background for instagram icon okay i know i, I don't want that okay i think basically um these are the major settings that you will need on your sassy social share options like i said if you have more time later on you can come around and play around this and see how it works on your own website all right so once you're done with all of this come over to save changes and make sure that your options and your settings has been changed okay once you do this you can see that anytime you go to your blog post this is what you're going to have on your blog post as you can see this looks beautiful and then people can go ahead read your content and they can help you share your post across each of the social media network that you have activated on your sassy social share plugin all right thank you for watching this video if you really want to get short videos like this that can help you improve your wordpress website help you improve your blogging and to you know help you do your marketing using your blog you can please subscribe to this channel help me like this video so that i can rank on youtube and then more people can get to see this video thank you once again and have a lovely time